Scenes from Murphy Fieldhouse, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center staging a recent readiness rodeo. More on that story in a moment. Also this week, CYS COVID safety protocols. April is Sexual Assault Awareness and Abuse Prevention Month and a look at a piece of Fort Meade history. These stories and more, but first a brief look at this week's installation town hall. Beyond COVID, a subject that comes up at every town hall is the status of the gyms, Gaffney and Murphy Fieldhouse. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland says that the reopening of the gyms to more than service members probably won't occur until the installation returns to health protection condition alpha. Uh, the, the main reason why we've kept the gym open at all is because of the readiness requirements of the service members. And as when you look at what our priorities are, is protecting our people and then protecting the mission, um, keeping the risk to those service members as slow as possible while still meeting those readiness and mission concerns is the driving factor behind the decisions with the gym. Um, we are pursuing some, um, some alternate um, ideas with the gym facilities, with Murphy Fieldhouse. Um, we don't have anything completely baked or ready to announce yet. This week's town hall covered a myriad of subjects. You can watch it in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In a related story, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center recently staged what they call a readiness rodeo at Murphy Fieldhouse. What we like to do is partner with the units and set up events like this to make it very easy for multiple soldiers uh, to run through an event site in one day. Um, and we can have a significant impact on the readiness in just one day. Readiness efforts like these aren't new, but part of the rodeo features an all new capability, doing hearing testing away from a clinic setting. They're called WATS, the acronym is WATS, and it's Wireless Automated Hearing Technology System. And it's a boothless technology where we could test any, in any quiet room and take um, our hearing testing capabilities and expand them outside of our clinic. Kimbrough says that a series of these rodeos will be held in the coming months and encourage units, not just Army ones, to check it out. We have started conversations with our tri-service colleagues in the Air Force and the Navy to, uh, to hold and design readiness events catered to their specific readiness requirements. Uh, so we anticipate seeing those roll out probably this summer, depending on the coordination that we can do. In more health news, it's just been a few weeks since public schools reopened. CYS Child Care wanted to address possible concerns about COVID protocols. They produced this video on that very subject. For more information, go to the MWR website at www.me.armymwr.com. Meanwhile, April is National Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month, and there's a full slate of events scheduled here on the installation. It all starts with a kickoff event on April 1st at 1 o'clock at the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. There are multiple seminars and educational opportunities throughout the month. The 902nd is sponsoring a virtual lap -a loop on April 9th, and there's a virtual 5K April 23rd through the 29th. One final reminder, this week we unveiled a new local community page on the Fort Meade website. You'll find resources available outside the fence line, including local employment opportunities. The page also includes our community calendar, so you can keep track of what's happening in the greater Fort Meade community. And before we close this edition, a little piece of Fort Meade history for you. The Public Affairs Office received a picture in the mail this week featuring a Fort Meade Reserve Officers Training Class, or ROTC class, from 1930. The picture features 52 ROTC students kneeling with rifles and what we can assume are the instructors standing behind them. If anyone out there knows someone who might be in this picture, please let us know here at Public Affairs. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.